welcome everyone. We've Oh, I'm so excited for today's lesson because we're doing stuff I really, really enjoy. So we're going to look at speed, velocity, and acceleration. Can a runner have an average speed and yet an average velocity of zero? Hmm, that's an interesting question. The only way we can answer it is if we know the difference between speed and velocity. So, we know what vectors and scalars are, we've done frames of reference, distance, displacement. Today, we're going to look at speed, velocity, and acceleration, because those are very important, okay? So, oh, no, that's what I wanted. There we go. What are our keywords? Speed. Velocity, we normally don't have an issue with speed, it's velocity that gets us. Then we've got average speed, okay, and we've got average velocity, and we're going to look at acceleration. Some of these are new words, some of them not. We often talk about acceleration in English, and we put a whole bunch of extra words that we mean, uh, that doesn't quite mean what science means. So we need to change some of our language here, okay? It's okay, we'll take it step by step. Here we go. So let's look at speed and velocity. First of all, we need to define these two concepts, okay? So we're gonna define what is speed, what is velocity, okay? One is a scalar, one is a vector. Uh, we've done that. Then we need to talk about what is uniform and non-uniform. This is quite important because we're going to talk about both of those. So we get uniform speed, uniform velocity, and we get non-uniform speed, non-uniform velocity. Uniform means constant, non-uniform means not constant. So it's changing. And how velocity changes can be, it's not quite what we think. It's not just about size. Then we got average. Average speed, average velocity. And I know you're going to go, oh, but that's, that's simple. It's average. We can do that. It is, but later on in the series, we're going to look at instantaneous. Oh, big word. But we first got to understand what average is first, okay? So... And of course, added to all of this, once we understand what those are, we can look at our calculations, okay? We can look at our calculations. When we look at acceleration, we need to define what acceleration is. Acceleration is a vector. Acceleration is when we change the velocity of an object, okay? And then, of course, we're going to need to look at direction. Now, this is the one that's difficult because we will talk about deceleration in English. And if I told you that an object was decelerating, you'd probably tell me it's getting slower. And that's true in English. But we don't use the word decelerating in science, okay? Because it's an English word. It's a language thing. In science, we only talk about acceleration, but we have to give it a direction. And the direction of the acceleration will tell me whether an object's speeding up or slowing down. Okay, so direction, very important. Then we're going to do some calculations. So that's all very exciting. Okay. And we're going to take a short break, and I will see you in a couple of minutes. Thank you. 